Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, I will be discussing fibrinolysis inhibitors. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts I'll be going over. So be sure to stay for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pharmacology flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on fibrinolysis inhibitors so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Fibrinolysis inhibitors are hemostatic agents used to control hemorrhage or excessive bleeding. For example, medications in this drug class may be used to control excessive bleeding with major cardiac surgery or to control bleeding with pregnancy complications such as placental abruption. A key medication that falls within this drug class is aminocaproic acid, brand name Amacar. Our cool chicken hint to help you remember this medication and what it's used for is to think aminocaproic acid puts a cap on the bleeding, meaning it stops the bleeding. In terms of mode of action, aminocaproic acid binds to plasminogen and prevents its activation into plasma. So plasmin is an enzyme that breaks down fibrin in the blood clot. So by preventing plasmin from breaking down fibrin in the blood clot, this stabilizes and prevents the breakdown of clots, which in turn prevents bleeding in the patient. Adverse effects of fibrinolysis inhibitors include gastrointestinal upset, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, in addition, rapid IV administration of aminocaproic acid can result in hypotension and bradycardia. In terms of nursing care, you'll want to assess your patient for bleeding to make sure it's better controlled after the administration of aminocaproic acid. You'll also want to assess your patient for signs and symptoms of a thromboembolism. This is because aminocaproic acid stabilizes and prevents the breakdown of clots, which increases the risk of a thromboembolism forming, particularly in patients with blood clotting disorders. Therefore, you'll want to monitor your patient for signs and symptoms, such as pain and swelling in the leg, which could indicate a deep vein thrombosis is present, or chest pain and shortness of breath, which could indicate the presence of a pulmonary embolism. It's quiz time and I have three questions for you. Question number one, what is aminocaproic acid used to treat? The answer is hemorrhage or excessive bleeding. Question number two, aminocaproic acid breaks down fibrin in a blood clot. True or false? The answer is false. It actually prevents the breakdown of fibrin in a blood clot, which stabilizes the clot. Question number three, aminocaproic acid increases the risk of a thromboembolism. True or false? The answer is true. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button. Take care and thank you so much for watching. Aminocaproic acid puts the cap on We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.